Afternoon all. Here's the Burgess Spindle Drive. Type ACM 3K 40110H. 11 kilowatts. We have a spindle motor here from Precision Drive Systems. I don't see a model number on there. ID plate is wore off of it. Alright, let's run it. I got a piece of red tape here so we can see the spindle motor rotating. That's 38.7 hertz right there. This drive is set to run up to 300 hertz. Now I'm not going to take it up that high. No need. I'm going to go get the fluke oscilloscope and we'll take a look at the UVW waveforms. Alright, we'll enable the drive to run. Right now we're at 37.5 hertz. Let's look at U and V. Ooh, that is pretty. Here's U to W. And that's good. Here's V to W. That's perfect. That's 200 volts per division. Really, really nice looking right there. Now on L1, L2, and L3, I've got 380 volts AC3 phase to power up that drive. On terminals 7, 8, and 9, I have the speed potentiometer connected. This is what varies the speed of the motor. 7 is ground. 8 is the voltage in, and 9 is plus 10 volts. On terminals 10 and 11, I have a switch, and that is the master enable of the drive. On terminals 14 and 16, I have the run forward switch. That's our start, stop, run forward switch. L1, L2, and L3 up here are the line in, UV and W are the motor outputs to the spindle motor. Okay, we're going to apply 380 volts, three phase to L1, L2, and L3. And the drive powers up to 1.1 off. I'm going to close the switch at terminals 10 and 11. And now the drive displays 1.10.0 hertz. I'm going to close the switch on terminals 14 and 16 to run forward. And you can see now our drive displays 1.132.8 hertz. And we can change that frequency by varying the voltage on pin 8 with the potentiometer. There we go. Look how easy that was. <laughs> oh, the problem with this drive is the power supply would drop out every now and then. And so I replaced uh, some capacitors on the switch mode power supply circuitry. Those capacitors, they'll get us every time. I'm going to turn the drive off, open up the run forward switch on terminals 14 and 16. We've gone to 0, 0.0 hertz. I'm going to open up the enable 
on terminals 10 and 11 and we're back to off. Remove the 380 volts AC3 phase from L1, L2, and L3. Now you can see it says undervolt. In a little bit, the power LED will start blinking as the bus capacitors start to die off. There we go. There we go. Fully powered down. Takes a little bit. All right, all. Oh, thank you very much for stopping by. I hope y'all's having a good day. And I always enjoy it when you come over to see what we're working on next. <laughs> hope this helps you to hook up your bird, just drive and run it. Now, if you don't have a spindle motor, you can still look at UV and W with your oscilloscope. And if it looks like what you saw, you'd be good to go. We'll see you next time. Good evening, all. You ought to see the birds gathered around the bird feeders back here before the sun goes down. Shooey, they're all over them bird feeders. Gonna get a little bit chilly tonight. <laughs> now here, we have the Burgess Spindle Drive, model ACM3K40110H. And displayed here is the control hookups to make that spindle drive run that spindle motor. Here we have on terminals 16 and 15, clockwise and counterclockwise, and terminal 14, common. Down here, we have the enable on terminals 11 and 10. Now, I had a switch at this position, terminals 11 and 10, so that I could disable and enable that drive. Here is our speed reference input on terminal 8. We have on terminal 9 plus 10 volts. And down here on terminal 7, we have M plus ground. Uh, on terminal 8, if we vary this voltage from 0 to 10 volts, we vary the speed that that spindle motor is run. Let's go back up here and talk about the inputs. These are programmable inputs. They can be active high or active low. And they can be turned on and turned off. <laughs> and for our drive, terminal 15 was turned off and terminal 16 was active low, meaning that it would start out at 5 volts, pulled to ground through the switch to terminal 14. Now let's go down and look at the power connections. Here is the power terminal board of the Burgess Spindle Drive. Now L1, L2, and L3, according to the data sheet, require 400 volts AC to 460 volts AC three phase. But it will power up if you apply, like I did, 380 volts AC three phase to L1, L2, and L3. Up here, normally, I will run this drive on six each light bulb bank wired in Y configuration connected to U, V, and W. But this time, I had a spindle motor from the customer. <laughs> that never happens. <laughs> that never happens. So I was able to connect their spindle motor to U, V, and W. 
as you saw in the video. Very nice. Now if you don't have a light bulb bank or the spindle motor, you can you you can uh you can look at UV and W with no connection with your uh, oscilloscope. I like to use the fluke oscilloscope because I'm isolated from earth ground. There's no chance of this high voltage shooting back up to earth ground through my oscilloscope if I use that fluke. It's disconnected from earth ground. Where you go folks? Hope you enjoyed that video. And I hope everything out your way is going good. Y'all have a good night. We'll see you when the sun comes up.